States. Why are you making this major strategic expansion away from your core business? Well, uh, first of all, good afternoon, but um, for a very simple reason. In fact, uh, Gemalto plus Thales will uh, create a world leader in what I call digital security. And we are very complementary in this uh, in this field, so it's not at all a diversification, it's all the contrary. It's clearly the combination of our respective strengths in the digital world and in particular digital security. Did the, as we said in the introduction, Atos of course showed an interest but Gemalto uh, seemingly wasn't. Did the Atos bid, did it precipitate your deal? Did it quicken the process? Well, first of all, uh, we started our internal, I would say, sorts a while ago now, in fact, since the very beginning of this year. And uh, we um, started some initial discussion with uh, the Malto management a few months ago. Uh, so I, I, said, I would say that uh, notwithstanding Atos' move, we were already working with uh, the Malto management team to see whether it would make sense or not to combine our respective strengths. So things wouldn't have worked out any differently if Atos hadn't have barged in? Well, honestly, I don't think so. Uh, the uh, genuine interest of uh, Gemalto and Teles is clearly independent of uh, Atos' potential interest or Atos' uh, previous move on, on Gemalto. Secondly, ha in uh, talent-based high tech companies, it has to be a friendly approach. It cannot be an unsolicited or hostile approach. How involved did the French government get in the final days of the, of the process? And how did that, if, if at all they did, how did that affect the outcome? Well, honestly, uh, and uh, if we uh, keep or stick to the facts, uh, the French state, uh, as a shareholder of Thales, uh, has uh, clearly vote at the board of Thales in favor. In fact, the board of Thales voted unanimously uh, in favor of this, uh, of, this, uh, uh, of this deal, of this transaction. Uh, by the way, on Gemalto board, the same happened. And uh, hence, we are here to uh, uh, celebrate this uh, potential transaction which has been blessed by the two respective boards. Do you know if you had to fend off other informal suitors or was it just Atos? Honestly, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Atos clearly was uh, uh, in the case, uh, was uh, here with uh, uh, an offer, but uh, they have retrieved their offer uh, since uh, Sunday night. Uh, was there or is there any other contender? I don't know. But I would be very uh, surprised. What sort of what sort of obstacles remain? Some pointing to uh, CFI US approval in the US, given your, given Gemalto, excuse me, sensitive business like government ID security and the French, the French state backing of Thales. Are there further obstacles before this deal is, is, is completed? Honestly, I don't see uh, any obstacle uh, to complete uh, this deal. We need to, of course, convince the shareholders of Gemalto to, uh, uh, to uh, uh, support or to bring their shares uh, to Thales. Uh, but as far as CFUS is concerned, you know, we have a long experience in terms of CFUS approval. We are very present in the US. We have more than 3,000 people over there. Uh, we have been, I would say, through this process uh, with the latest acquisition in the US, Guavus, even more metric in the US also, which is uh, involved in cybersecurity. We are present in defense in the US with our uh, proxy company. So we are a good US and a respected US citizen in the US. Hence, I do not anticipate any uh, difficulty in this regard. Are you done with M&A or is there more to come? Well, you know, one step after uh, another. So uh, my priority is to uh, complete this, uh, this transaction. We still have uh, some uh, say, technical steps to go through. Then we'll have to integrate the two companies. You know, it's a several years uh, journey to integrate two industrial high-tech companies. So uh, we will see.
and you're anticipating 150 million euros of cost savings by 2021. That's roughly 5% of Jamalto's sales. Are, are you being conservative there? Well, conservative, I don't know if we have been conservative, but clearly we have other ideas on top of this uh, range, 100, 150 million euro in terms of uh, synergies, uh, in terms of new usages, new businesses that uh, we can develop together in uh, autonomous cars, in uh, silent authentication in the payment domain, combining our AI expertise and Gemalto's one in security, uh, in the air traffic management related to UAVs, we have many, many ideas to be developed, but for the moment it's a bit too soon to uh, put some figures on the table.